So in this video, I'm gonna compare a pair of bib shorts that I paid $40 for, and I'm gonna compare them to my nice Castelli's, which I paid about $200 for. Is there a difference? Which one would I buy again? I'm gonna tell you in this video. So first of all, I'm not even sponsored by any of these companies. I wish I was because I would like to get free stuff, but I'm not, I'm working on it. So I got these shorts from a company called The Black Bibs, and I like their advertisement. It basically is the simplest bib shorts you could find. There's no advertising on it. They don't have the black bibs on the back. There's no emblem of a company that you either can't pronounce or that you don't use. The quality I'm gonna discuss in this video, and I'm gonna compare it to a race bib shorts that I have from Castelli that I actually paid quite a bit of money for about $200. So first of all, let's do the most important thing is, how comfortable are these $40 shorts? The answer is, they're extremely comfortable. Now let me show you if it's appropriate, because this is a family channel, I'm gonna show you the uh, the chamois, but it's actually a nice amount. It's, I would say, on the scale of one to 10, meaning the, how much cushion. Sometimes you'll get uh, brands that have a lot of cushion. This one is kind of a medium, and this one here, my Castelli, is, I would say, a minimum. It's a nice, nice fabric. Now, what is the difference? The $200 uh, shorts is actually a nicer, softer fabric than the $40 ones, but this is about 95% as good as this one. And then as far as fit is concerned, this company, I actually kind of thought this was interesting, that they actually have some that have longer legs for those people that have longer legs. It's not me, I uh, just got the regulars, but as far as the fit is concerned, right where it attaches to your thigh, it doesn't have any type of adhesion or uh, glue tape to it, whereas my race bibs actually have this kind of fabric and that you could actually see through that secure it to my legs. As far as the stitching is concerned with this $40 brand, it actually looks kind of the same when it comes to the stitching. And if you've ever had a pair of bib shorts that uh, the stitching is just in the wrong place, you know? This is actually fairly equal as far as the stitching is concerned. As far as quality of the actual fabric, I have had this for a number of months now, and it's actually holding up quite nicely. The fabric, it's hard to tell, but I would say that there's, if I'm gonna be biased, there's kind of a higher quality fabric on the $200 shorts compared to the $40 shorts. But again, not by much. Now this is just as advertised, just the black bibs. This is just a continuous fabric. Whereas with this, it actually has, you know, advertising on the back here. It also has their emblem all over the place. And on the side of the thigh, it's got these dimples. I don't know if you can see in the light. You know how a golf ball has the dimples for airflow? Well, this $200 race bib actually has that on the thigh. So in theory, marginal gains and stuff like that. The other thing that this has, which really comes in handy if you're a professional, but pff, what do I need this for? On the back side, you see that it actually has a little pocket right here. And what that's for is your race radio. Why do I need that? I don't need that. As far as the uh, shoulder strap, sometimes uh, the shoulder strap will kind of get you. The $200 bib shorts has this kind of elastic type of uh, strap for your shoulders, which I really like. It's really nice. $40 bib shorts, of course, don't have it. They actually have the stitching right here, right where it actually hits the top of your shoulder, but it's not really an issue. And of course, it doesn't have anything for your race radio. So overall, when you compare a $200 pair of shorts to a $40 pair of shorts, it should not be equal. I don't believe that I should be getting the same value that I'm getting uh, by spending five times less. However, 
Something to consider is you can buy five of these for every one of these and that is kind of convincing and if it's 95% as good as the super expensive bib shorts, uh, I have to say this black bib company, they sold me. This is, th these are great. Would I ride a hundred miles in them? The answer is yes, I would. But because I still have these, I, you know, it's probably more psychological, but these just kind of fit me like skin and these fit me almost like skin. It could be just mental, but I would prefer to use my excellent bib shorts if I'm gonna ride for a long period of time. And that may be just because I have them and I, I like them, they're, they're nice. It's always fun to have quality. I have to say, I'm gonna put a link down below in a sense to endorse this company, but if you're looking for new bib shorts and you're looking at this company trying to figure out, well, what am I getting versus what I already have, like I said, if you ride multiple days in the week, you know, and, you know four or five times a week, you could literally, for, for $200, get five of these bib shorts for the price of one. And uh, I think this company has essentially nailed it in terms of the quality. The one thing about it that is, you could say, a disadvantage, really, but I'm not sure if it really is, because who's going to return bib shorts, is they give you, I think, one week. They, they actually explain on their website that they are a small company. They're doing this, no advertising. On the, on the shorts and because it's a low price, they can't be dealing with all the big company problems of returns and stuff. Mm -hmm. So if you buy these bib shorts, I believe you have a certain amount of time, I think it might be a week, where you're supposed to try them on with your underwear and see if they fit. And if they don't fit, you have one week to return them. For 40 bucks, if they fit just as good as any other bib shorts, I say, once you find out if you like them, then buy five pair. It's totally worth it.